What is the life cycle of a monkey? The basic life cycle of a monkey is gestation, babyhood, and adulthood, but the length of each of these steps varies based on the type of monkey being described. Monkey gestation can take four to eight months, and monkeys take 18 months to eight years to reach maturity. After breeding, mature monkeys give birth to one to three babies, with one being the most. being the most common number. A snow monkey has a fairly typical life cycle for a monkey. They are born after a short gestation period, and they nurse for about a year. Snow monkeys become adults at age four, and in captivity, they live up to 30 years. Some monkeys experience an adolescent phase between being a baby and an adult. For example, the proboscis monkey stops nursing at seven months old. About five months later, when they are one year old, young males leave their mothers to hang out with their friends in a group called the bachelor group. Young females, in contrast, stay with the rest of their family in a group called the troop. Although the monkeys are not considered babies during this period, they are not adults either. They spend roughly three years in this role, and they are not ready to breed until they are four or five. The stages of the life cycle of primates vary considerably in duration. Among the most primitive members of the group, these stages are broadly comparable to those of other mammals of similar size. Higher in the phylogenetic scale, they They are substantially extended. The greatest difference is in the duration of the infant and juvenile stages combined. The least is in the gestation period, which, despite the general belief, cannot be consistently correlated with adult body size. Gibbons, which weigh considerably less than macaques, have a 20% longer gestation period. The clear trend toward prolongation of the period of juvenile and adolescent life is probably to be associated.
corresponding trend toward a progressive elaboration of the brain, the extended period of adolescence means that the young remain under adult surveillance for a long period, during which time the juvenile acquires, by example from its mother and peers, the knowledge that will allow it to become properly integrated as a fully adult member of a complicated social system. One might therefore expect a close correlation between the period of adolescence, the brain size, and the complexity of the social system, and, insofar as the latter factor can be assessed, this appears to be the case. The reproductive events in the primate calendar are copulation, gestation, birth, and lactation. Owing to the long duration of the gestation period, these phases occupy the female primate for a full year or more, then the cycle starts again. The female does not usually come into physiological receptivity until the infant of the previous pregnancy has been weaned. Bush babies, most leaders and lorises show one or more discrete breeding seasons during the year, during which time they may undergo more than one reproductive estrus cycle. The breeding seasons are separated by periods of anestrus, which in bush babies and mouse lemurs are accompanied by changes in the skin of the external genitalia, which closes over, completely sealing the vagina. When living in the wild in the Sudan, the lesser bush baby has an estrus that occurs only twice yearly, during December and August. In captivity, however, breeding seasons may occur at any period in the year. In the wild, birth seasons are closely correlated with the prevailing climate, but in captivity under equable laboratory conditions, this consideration does not apply. For instance, in its native Madagascar, the ring-tailed lemur has only a single breeding season during the year, conception occurring in autumn and births taking place in late winter. However, in zoos in the northern hemisphere, a seasonal inversion occurs in which the birth period shifts to late spring and early summer. These examples indicate the influence of environmental factors on the timing of the birth seasons, growth and longevity. The prolongation of postnatal life among primates affects all life periods, including infantile, juvenile, adult, and senescent. Although humans are the longest-lived members of the order, the potential lifespan of the chimpanzee has been estimated at 60 years, and orangutans occasionally achieve this in captivity. The lifespan of a lemur, on the other hand, is about 15 years and a monkey's 25, 30 years. The characteristic growth spurts of human infants in weight and height also occur in non-human primates but start earlier in the postnatal period and are of shorter duration. Primates differ from most non-primate mammals by virtue of a delayed puberty in both sexes until growth is nearly complete. In humans, the peak of the growth spurt in boys comes slightly after the sexual maturity, whereas in
girls the growth spurt precedes menarche. There is some controversy over the very existence of an adolescent growth spurt in non-human primates. In some species, males are very much larger than females. This extra growth occurs long after sexual maturity and rather rapidly, so it is possibly equivalent to the human growth spurt. The most remarkable case of such post-mature growth is seen in orangutans. A male can mature physically in his early teens, or he can spend as